Hi, well, it's been a while since I've done this, but I'm back with a new series of videos. I'm going to change the format up a bit and concentrate on smaller paintings that uh, can be done in a couple of hours. And I'm not going to speed them up as much as I used to, and I'm going to include the palette in the frame of the video as much as I can, so you can see what's going on there. Uh, I'm also going to be narrating a voiceover, trying to explain what I'm doing as I'm going along, and I'll also provide you with my reference photo so that you can try to work along with this painting if you'd like to. Okay, so this is the uh, first project we're going to work on. I call this October Lane. And this is pretty much a straight up uh, rendition from my reference photo, which you can see here. Now I'll put the instructions for saving this reference photo to your hard drive up in the description. Uh, this painting takes approximately two hours, so I'll be uploading the segments in 10 minute clips. Alright, now I'm starting with an 11 by 14 pre-stretched canvas, which I've tinted with a very thinned down mixture of light red and raw sienna and lots of thinner. The basic idea here is just to get rid of the white. Uh, this first video is going to be about painting the sky background gradient. Now the brush I'm going to be using for this is a number 10 angled flat. It's a very soft brush, very good for blending. Alright, now we'll lay out the colors. Okay, we already have our alkaline titanium light laid out. Now I'm going to add a little bit of ultramarine blue and a little bit of cadmium red and I believe a little bit of Prussian blue so for this first uh, coat that's all the colors we need so we're going to start by mixing our white and some ultramarine just a little touch of Prussian to warm it up See what that looks like. Okay, that's pretty good. I guess we'll uh, just start coating the canvas with that layer. A little darker, I think. Okay, now as we move on down, I'm going to be adding a little bit more white to the mixture, blending it in with the top band. Okay, working our way down. And then another band even lighter yet. A little more white here. Okay, now as we get to the bottom, I'm going to add some red into the mix because the sky gets uh, warmer and grayer as you get down near the horizon. And there's our four bands of color. A little more. Now I'm going to work my way back up to the top. A little more pigment in the middle. Okay, now we're going to start at the top and work our way back down again with the darker. Not quite dark enough up at the top yet. That's mostly ultramarine. Okay, now we're going to start blending it in with what the pigment that's already on the canvas using um, kind of a cross hashing stroke. I'll go one angled direction and then the opposite direction. Just working the uh, darker top values into the 
lighter bottom values. Now I'm not worried at this point about completely covering the canvas. That under layer of uh, Ross Sienna still shows through. Not worrying about that yet. So this is what the first layer looks like. That's going to set up and dry for five or six hours. And now we're back for the uh, second layer of paint on top. So same colors. Uh, mostly ultramarine. A little bit of uh, white. Just a touch of Prussian up at the top. You can see how much darker this is getting. And it's basically the same process on this second time around. Okay, now this is the middle band of color. I'm adding more Prussian to this middle band. As you get closer to the horizon, <clears throat> the sky warms up a little bit. I'm not worried about the blending yet. I'm just worried about getting the uh, bands of pigment on there. Okay, now I'm working on the uh, next to the bottom one. Working my way back up into the top band a little bit. And that's getting pretty close. Okay, now I'm going to use a little bit of light red this time instead of the cadmium red for my horizon band. Actually, I, I, I'm actually down into the ground colors right now. This probably won't even be seen. But we're going to warm it up anyways. Blending back into the blue as we work our way back up. You don't want to jump too far ahead uh, with your loaded brush. You want to keep working your way gradually so you're not taking... The, the, the brush is going to have whatever the last place you touched on it. So you can gradually move up, but you don't wouldn't want to jump all the way to the top of the canvas, say, from the middle or the bottom. Just blend it in with that cross hatching kind of strokes. And now I'm going to take a large soft house painting brush and again with an X kind of brush stroke motion blend everything together. And that's about it. We have our graded sky background. Now I'll let this sit and dry overnight and then we'll be ready to go with uh, clouds on top for the next lesson.